what is Monday Thursday? Um, I know you might be thinking Monday. What's is that Monday Thursday? <laughs> Which is it, Monday or Thursday? I understand that, uh, but the, the word is not mon Monday. It's Monday. And uh, it comes from the Latin word mandatus, uh, which means man we get our English word mandate. And um, of course, a mandate is a commandment. And so that night when our Savior met for the last Passover of his earthly ministry, he gathered the disciples after Palm Sunday, if you remember. And uh, they gathered in the upper room and they celebrated that Passover meal together. And in that meal, of course, he taught them many things, and that's the meal that uh, Judas would betray our Savior, that uh, Jesus would dip the, the bread in and say, one of you will betray me. And Judas wound up leaving early. Later, uh, Jesus and the, the other disciples would uh, go to the Garden of Gethsemane and there they began to, uh, they fell asleep, but our Savior prayed and sought the mercy of the Father. And of course, Jesus pled with the disciples multiple times to watch and pray with him, but of course they did not. Uh, but he continued to pray until the time that uh, Judas arrived with the temple guards and they were arrested. In fact, you remember that night that uh, Peter lost, kind of lost his temper, and he pulls his sword and 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 cuts off one of the temple guards' ears, and and our Savior miraculously puts his ear back on, and then is hauled off to uh, you know monkey courts, you know false courts, and accused and, and falsely uh, indicted for things that that were all wrong and uh, during that time Peter had been told that he would betray the Lord and of course he denied that and then eventually of course Peter who was following along uh, behind our Savior uh, found himself being warmed at a fire and uh, betrayed our Savior he cursed and said I don't know the man and of course the Bible says that Peter uh, went away and repented of that sin and wept bitterly and was later restored by Christ uh, to the ministry. But you know, as we think about Monday, Thursday, th what is this mandate? Well, the mandate is not to celebrate Monday, Thursday. Uh, the mandate is found in John chapter 13. It's where our Savior says, um, a new commandment I give to you that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. And by this shall all men know that you're my disciples if you have love one for another. Well, I can't think of any better way for the church of Jesus Christ to demonstrate the power of the gospel than to say that we love each other passionately in Jesus Christ we continue to be bound together through Christ. There are many, many ways in which we can pray and seek and worship with one another to honor our Savior's commandment, His mandatus, His, His mandate for us to be this miraculously loving people. Now, perhaps you say to yourself, well, how is this possible? I mean, how can, how can people who are hurt and, and have been bound in sin and and sometimes not really love themselves uh, by others. How can they t in turn uh, love others in Christ with such a pure and holy and passionate love? Well, Jesus in that uh, upper room also shared that he would be sending the, the Holy Spirit, the parakletos, uh, the comforter. And so, through the ministry of the Holy Spirit, we would be able, enabled to love in this divine way that Christ has loved us. You know, I like to think of this on Monday, Thursday, that Christ gave us the mandate, the new commandment, 
to love one another in, in the Spirit and in the Scriptures. And then He went to the cross and demonstrated it by loving us and dying as our sacrifice, His substitutionary death upon the cross for us. And so my word to you is during this time, seek the power of the Holy Spirit to love with a gospel love the other members of the church. And who knows, maybe the world who's watching us will, will give witness that we know Christ because we have love one for another. God bless you. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our latest video. Go ahead and click that little thumb so you can like that video, as well as on the bottom right hand corner, click that little bell to subscribe and receive notifications. Thank you again so much for tuning in, supporting our video ministry here at Coggins Church.